Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how to make your own Dragon Ball um, GUIs. It's a really useful feature to add to your games and it looks really responsive and it's really awesome. Um, before we begin I just wanted to say make sure to like and subscribe. Um, it's still a really small community so it really means a lot if you guys join. Um, also if you want to join our Discord server, the link's in the description. Um, the paste bin for this code is all on there, so if you join, you don't have to follow the whole video and watch it through, you can just copy it from our paste bin. And I'm sorry guys about the um, not uploading for so long, I've just been so busy with um, real life things, it's just been one of those um, really busy weeks and months um, for me. And hopefully we'll be able to release some good content now. Um, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's jump straight into the studio and I'll be showing you how easy this is to do with your own GUIs. Now I'm guessing you've already got a GUI set up in your game. However, I do not, so I'm going to get one set up real quick. Point four each way and I'm going to cent centralize it. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure we have that top bar. I'm sure you know like these types of bars here. The top got Robot Studio and I can drag it around. You can only drag it, you can't start dragging it from the centre here. You could only drag it from the top, if that makes sense. So we need to insert one of them top title bars. Just insert a text label. Let's give it the appropriate size. Okay. And title. Again, this is just an example. It's not going to look amazing, but obviously, I'm hoping that your GUI will look much better. Okay, the next thing we need to do if we go to this frame here, oh, sorry, the text label and name it Top Bar. That's what I like calling them. Okay, now under frame, we'll just insert a local script. Okay, this local script is actually quite hard to do. So I'll be showing you how you do this all in this video, because obviously the physics of moving this, um, the actual GUI around the screen is pretty complex, even though it might seem simple. The first thing we're going to do is be getting the, the user input service. Basically, that's a service in Robloxes. Uh, so in Roblox, that basically um, it has all the mouse um, inputs, uh, things like that. So whenever you, uh, the person moves the mouse, it will go through the user input service. So obviously you need to use that in our code. Next we're getting here is the main frame. This is, this is the frame we're actually going to be moving around, which is this frame, of course. Now I call this the um, the top bar. Again, um, so main frame. Don't wait for child. Top bar. That's pretty simple. So basically, getting the top bar and the main frame. Next thing to do is we need to get the camera of the player. We'll be using this in the formula of um, how we're going to drag the um, the thing around. Also, I want to apologise real quick um, if I say um, GUI instead of um, GUI. It's just a habit I've picked up, and I know the comments have a fit about it. Hey, they're all our um, setup variables. Basically, this is going to be the position. Um, but whenever, whenever someone presses this, the position of where they press it is going to be the um, the drag mouse position. The frame position is where the frame's going to be at the start in correlation to the screen. I could explain you the whole process of how we're moving it around. It seems simple, like you're just gonna move it around the side of the screen, but actually, you've gotta think about how it all works. It's actually quite complex. Anyway, so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna go top bar, dot input, began. And then we're going to, basically, whenever someone presses the frame, like, you know, um, someone touches it, we need to get that, 
and that's what we're doing here. Basically, so whenever it touches it, um, we need, it's going to run this. So whenever someone clicks on this, it's going to run this. I find um, this Roblox physics type things that are the hardest part of the Roblox development stuff, um, just because um, it's everything seems really simple and really easy to do. However, in reality, it's really hard. So even though this is just a, an easy script, this I'm looking at the main one here. It's 32 lines. Like that's, that's a, wow for like such an easy system. You think it'd just be a Roblox default thing? That'd be cool if it would be, wouldn't it though? Okay. Basically, we're saying here, if they're um, using um, like um, a, a mouse, um, then run it. If they're using a, a touch device, then run it. There are a couple ones, I think, like VR, and we don't want to support them. These are the main two. Um, basically, you can imagine like dragging it on the controller. Like, it just, just wouldn't work, right? So we're only going to accept inputs from um, the keyboard, and um, you can drag it on like your iPad or your iPhone, tablets, mobile devices, you know. And next, we're going to say so. Basically, we need to change that draggable variable to true because we want to be able to drag the GUI now that their um, now that their mouse is on this. So when their mouse is on this, we want to be able to drag it when they let it go. It's no longer trackable. You know the thing I said about the drag mouse position, so when someone presses it, it's gonna change the position of it, um it's gonna change this to be the mouse position, but we need to set that here. And then again, um, this is basically the position of the frame when the person touches it. Also, I'm sorry, I'm really slow. I'm just um, a bit tired at the moment, but yes. Um, here we go. So there are um, there are two variable sets and the draggable variable, of course. So the next thing we need to do is we need to say um, when the person stops touching it, then run something, which is going to be changing that draggable variable to false. Because obviously we don't want the user to be able to drag it when um, they're not actually you know holding it down. We need to do this again. Basically, we're saying if they're on a keyboard or on a mobile device. Right, this is the interesting bit. This is the bit, um, basically this system here runs um, whenever someone moves their mouse on their screen. So if we want to be able to drag the GUI, then run this. So we're going to get, we're going to, first of all, we're going to get the new position of where we want to place the um, GUI on the screen. GUI, sorry guys. So we get the current position, also the old position. Which happens here. We need the old position, and then we're going to say, "Got, I'm tired." Okay, I'm um, going to say, "Input." So where their mouse is currently. God, I can't spell. Um, there we go. Let's it here. Let me explain some of the bits. So, um, 
basically, whenever you press this, um, you, you can you, um, we're gonna get that um, that drag mouse position. So we're gonna save where the person plus um, you know where their mouse is on the screen, and we're also gonna save where the um, GUI is um, is. And then when their um, when the mouse moves, we're gonna be getting the um, the position of where the mouse is. So we're basically getting the new position. And we're saying the new position is the old frame position, so it was here, plus the new position minus um, minus the old position. Um, so let's say we press it here. If you dragged it, so you see the bottom left of my square is where I started dragging it. The top right is where I dragged it now. We're going to be getting, uh, we're going to be moving it that far. It's so hard to explain, but the physics is there. This is why I said it's one of the hardest parts of robots development, in my opinion. Um, again, if you want a, a detailed description, or if you, um, um, you know, you find, need some help with it, then just join our Discord server. We're really um, open to, to help. And we even accept um, new video ideas there. So let's say if you really want to do um, a certain thing, want a certain thing in your... Um, in your Roblox world, well then we might be able to help you with that. Anyway, that's the end of the scripting part of the tutorial. Let's see how it works when we test it. Oh, hey, we're now in the Roblox Studio testing bit. Let's see if it runs. Perfect. As you can see, when we um, put our mouse over the top bar, I call it, it drags the GUI, GUI around it perfectly. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really hope this video helps you. Again, make sure to like and subscribe and um, comment if my new microphone, if you think it's good. It's the um, the HyperX um, Cloud 2. I think it's been out for quite a while, but um, yeah, seems to work quite well from the, um, the previews I've heard. So yes, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.